Hey, I run here, and welcome to Train Simulator 2014. All right, time to run through the Expert Control Basic Tutorial. Let's go. Alright, welcome back drivers. Let's get used to driving a train using expert controls. This is your ICE-2 train and we'll be driving once again to Hamburg. Alright, now that we're back in the cab, the controls are located at the bottom where we see our HUDs display down here, just like in the previous uh, tutorial. So don't worry, everything will be explained as we go. So let's begin. Again, the track profile located at the bottom of the HUD provides a side view of the, your train and the line ahead. This will scroll from right to left as you proceed. The view represents your knowledge as an expert driver of upcoming signals, speed limits, and other things. All right, the red control is the throttle. The further you move it up, the faster you will accelerate. To maintain your current speed and stop accelerating, simply move the control all the way to the bottom. So this is one of the difference between the simple controls and the expert controls. Um, this operated more as the brake, so if it was above the midway line here, it, um, it would be going. If it was below, it operated as a brake, but not in this one. We have the uh, blue reverse control now, so up is forward and down is uh, back instead of the button from the previous one. And we now have our brake lever. So the black lever is the brake which slows down the locomotive. When you want to stop, simply lower the throttle to the bottom to stop applying power and then raise the brake lever to apply the brakes. So up is brakes and down is not. So you can see right now it's at 70% if you look right here. The more you raise the brake lever, the quicker the train will stop. All right, so let's go. So now it's time to go. Our first destination is Hamburg HBF Gleis 11. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably slaughtering that, but anyway. From now on, you're in charge of the controls. Let's take things one step at a time. Slide the reverser up to 100%. All right. To set your direction of travel. Once your reverser is in the correct position as shown, close the window. Slide the brake down to 0%, which we just did. Now it's time to start moving. Click on the throttle with the left mouse button. Then with the mouse button held, slowly move it up to about 50%. There we go. And here we go. So we got our first congratulations for being nicely done, just like previously. Let's close that out. So here we're watching our speed. This is our current speed and this is the track speed. So we can go up to 120, which we won't even come close on that part. Not on this training tutorial, because before we can even get up and going, we're going to have to slow down to 80. So let's, let's go a little bit faster though. We can get this thing rolling. It says keep driving for a couple of kilometers. Try to keep under the speed limit. When you are close to Hamburg, we will run you through the process of bringing your train to a stop. We've got a clear line ahead, so you do not need to worry about signals during this tutorial. All right. So we're at 60 now. All right, coming up, the speed limit drops to 80 kilometers per hour. Watch the track profile and lower your throttle and raise your brake to lower your speed if you need to. So I think we're actually pretty good right now because we're still under 80.
let's let it go over 80 just so you guys can see what will happen. All right, so this this light coming up here right here, that's our that's our transition even though we're going to the left. All right, so it says we're speeding. So we need to slow that down. Let's raise the brake a little bit. All right, we got the warning. You are exceeding the current line speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour. Slow down by lowering the throttle to the bottom and then moving the brake up. The higher the brake is positioned, the more rapidly you will slow. Once your speed limit is below 80, slide the brake down to the bottom and uh, to stop slowing down. While driving, you can change views. Pressing 2 on the keyboard switches to third person view while pressing 1 reverts the view to within the cab. Alright, so where are we at? We are slowing down. Let's move this back down there. Alright, so if we press 2, we go outside the cab. If we Okay, works. We're speeding again. Oh no, hold on, let me get that. Alright, let's just lower this down. Actually, let's just lower it all the way down and we'll maintain that. So while we're outside the cab, if we right click the mouse or left click the mouse, no, excuse me, right click the mouse and then turn left and right, we can kind of change our view point in this third, uh, third person view. Also, if we press the two, oh, the one, we go back into the cab where it's a little bit quieter. So you can see here at the bottom, we're coming up on a 60 mile speed limit zone. It's that yellow light right up ahead. Right now, we're still slowing down nicely, but we may want to apply the brakes just a little bit more. So you watch the track profile below. There's a 60 kilometer speed restriction coming up after we've come around the next turn. Use the throttle and brakes to control and adjust the speeds accordingly. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Alright, so we should be okay. So you can put the brake down and if the throttle is all the way down, you're supposed to maintain the speed, but you can see we're, we're slightly slowing down a little bit more. All right, we are now one kilometer from Hamburg. Reduce your speed to 40 kilometers per hour by lowering the throttle to the bottom, which it already is down here as you can see, and moving the brake up to apply the brakes. Remember, the further you move it, the quicker you'll stop. So I think we're okay. We got to there to stop. We're already slowing down nicely. Let's do a little bit more. This way we don't get that speed limit notification again or speeding notification. All right, there we go. We are down below. Holding pretty good right there. All right, so we're heading into the train station once again. We'll want to, you'll see the pop up in a minute, but we'll want to stop within this green area down here at the bottom that my cursor is pointing at. speeding again all right let's move the brakes up because we're gonna be coming to a stop pretty soon anyway all right so aim to come to a complete stop next to the platform to your left so that all of your train is within the green line on the track profile use the left mouse button to move the throttle to the bottom and then move the brake up which we're already doing that kind of anyway we'll apply a little bit more we're going to want to stop right next to the platform so we can let off our passengers and take on new passengers. Wave hi to the passengers. Hey there. So as we're wrapping up this episode here, uh, we'll be starting our, our regular campaign. And... and moving on to bigger and better things. Alright, great work. 
When you stop at a passenger station, you will see a red bar growing on the HUD as passengers get on and off the train. This tutorial will finish when the bread when the bread when the red bar this tutorial will finish when the red bar has reached the end so here's our red bar All right, great work. You have successfully driven a train using expert controls. So now between the, the two different uh, episodes, we've driven the simple controls and the expert controls. If you prefer simple controls, you can switch to them on the drive screen in the bottom right corner. Simply click the slider to toggle between simple and expert. With expert controls enabled, any career scenarios that you complete will earn you medals and XP towards your career. So I think we're going to be going after that. We're going to try to get us some medals and some XP. Final destination reached. Please carefully disembark from the train and have a wonderful weekend.